take time to be holy. Speak up with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitter for service aboard. Amen. Almighty Father, we are grateful to find ourselves in your acceptable part. It gives joy to us that we are chosen by you and you delight in us it blesses our heart that we are serving you and you are happy for it i'm praying that you will work more on us that you have chosen to preach your word and giving grace to act your word we that you have called to preach the truth and to live it out before mankind. Lord, we thank you for the grace. Walk more in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, strengthen us. Stand by us until we finish the work for you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are taking the message. True and holy preachers are precious to God and men. True and holy preachers are precious to God and to men. In Romans chapter 10, verse 12 to 16. Romans chapter 10, verse 12 to 16. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who had believed our report? At 17 so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God 
the opening verse here as we can see is verse 13 for whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved man or woman a child an adult literate or illiterate whosoever of all races black red skin or white whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved of all nations within the country outside the country whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved how generous is our God that's what verse 12 says for there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him gracious kind he his grace is abundant to whoever shall call upon him in all the earth in all the earth in any language that the person may use to call upon the name of the lord he shall be saved saved from what from sin from eternal death shall be saved saved from the hand of the devil saved the salvation of god is open to whosoever shall believe the gospel of christ repent from his sin and seek the lord jesus there's no difference in age in gender in tribe in nation or race but then there are a series of questions here in this scripture question one says how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed so we have our point number one reason why many are not saved reason why many are not saved is very simple here how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed the reason is they have not believed why are they not saved why are many in the nations of the world not saved why are many even within us and, and, and are still not saved they have not believed faith is a vital factor in the salvation God gives whether salvation from sin sickness Satan or whatever problem of life faith is a major factor faith is required to receive every blessing from God including the forgiveness of sins healing deliverance answer to prayers to be saved from sin one must believe believe on the Lord Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior and call upon his name to bestow his salvation and blessing one has to believe one has to call upon him so that this blessing will come but many cannot call upon him because they do not believe in him they cannot call upon him because they don't believe 
ask them please call upon jesus he will save you from your sin or he will save you from that trouble i don't believe him i don't know him that may be the answer so they do not believe now now we know reason why many are not saved number two go back to that verse 14 and let's consider question number two and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard they have no heart about him how will they believe now this is giving us point number two reason why many do not believe on jesus remember number one me reason why many are not saved is because they do not believe on jesus now number two reason why many do not believe on jesus the bible says and how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard belief is a function of hearing analyzing what is hard developing hard conviction and acts of hard conviction over what is hard and decision making belief is a function of hearing analyzing conviction and decision personal decision hence faith on the lord jesus comes from hearing about him one or more times faith comes from hearing about jesus one or more times yes many have not had anything about jesus they have never heard they have been exposed to other faiths other religions such as islam many in islamic nations have never heard about jesus hindus is a faith many of them have never heard about jesus they believe in hinduism what they have been hearing is what geared their own faith to so that they, they, they have been receiving testimonies about their hindus god confession is made about their hindus god so they believe because faith comes from hearing some are buddha are believe in uh, buddhism they believe in buddha another man why he is preached they talk about him the children hear of him families sit down and talk about him so naturally the people believe because they have to hear they have been hearing some are on idols stones river stars etc these things are being rehearsed before them people give testimonies about them so the young minds catch them up they mature in them they believe them they do sacrifice to them but as for jesus they have never heard they have no heart how can they believe a story was told of a missionary that went to one part of india for gospel outreach and the man spoke about jesus so wonderfully so wonderfully jesus is savior he came from heaven to save us from our sins 
he died for us by him we have pardoned we can live forever with god jesus has power over satan he can free you from satan he can free you from sickness jesus christ is a friend he can make life beautiful for you give you the comfort of life an old man stood up and said when is he going to come to our land ha, i will like him we will want such a person when will he come to our land the preacher said he came to this a two thousand years ago he has finished the work and died and went to heaven i'm talking about him the man said men are wicked you mean jesus came for two thousand years ago nobody came to our village nobody men are wicked that's exactly people around you are also saying men are wicked you mean you knew all these things and i'm around you i was a neighbor to you i was a friend to you i was a colleague to you nothing you did nothing to let me know these things people are wicked they have no heart then how are you expecting them to believe that's what the bible is asking how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard yes some of them have heard but to the negative they tell them like to the islamic faith they spend time telling the child from childhood from infancy that jesus is not the son of god they should not consider that god doesn't have a wife they give them a wrong impression and the children grew up with that they what they have heard of jesus is the negative and so some of these other people come up to say things that are negative so they have heard but they had the other opposite what will kill their faith what will make them hate jesus hate everything and everyone about him they have not heard although they have heard they have not had the truth about jesus they have not they have not yes others still as i've told i've never heard about him and they know nothing about his existence how then can they believe you reason it yourself you reason it somebody now speaks about oh there's a drug that can do this that can do this that can do this that can do this and you have a particular sickness that that drug by him as you have heard him say can handle that thing yes you'll be interested and you get it and you get delivered actually but now there is a drug like that nobody has told you about it will you not die in your sickness will you not suffer and perish in your sickness if your sickness is, ter is terminal you face the date it is not known to you nobody has told you about it that's the situation of the people in the present world nobody has told them about jesus they have never heard so they perish that is why many have not believed it means if they could hear if they will hear if someone can tell them that they will hear it they will believe many will believe but this is that nobody has cared to do that nobody has risked himself to do that nobody has sacrificed himself to do that nobody has spent enough to get the materials for them to hear and believe they die in the world that has a savior they have no access to the savior until they died now question number three and how shall they hear without a preacher can you see it now how shall they hear without a preacher so our point number three is reason why many have not heard remember number one 
reason why many are not saved i told you is because they don't believe in jesus number two i said reason why many have not believed on jesus i told you because they have never heard anything about him if they had heard they would have believed they are saying so in hell now did they come to you did anybody come to your house they didn't come they're talking like that in hell they, nobody came to my house nobody did anything not even letter writing so they're saying so now i would have believed what am i doing on earth is it not him who created me i didn't hear then i say i'm now giving you reason why many have not heard how can they hear without a preacher the available preachers in the world are too few for the world's population of seven billion there are too many sinners too much ignorance too much hedonism atheism idolatry and corruption among men in the world too much they're too much such that many have no heart although preachers are among them the work is heavy the darkness is thick it will take much it will require many preachers the few preachers that are there cannot can, what can they do one to a million what can they do they're working they're laboring but the world is too big that up to today many have no heart their tongue maybe has not come we are saying so they start we're treating them line by line and the line is very long for one person one person is the one in not collecting a million people standing on a line and waiting for him before he reaches some many have died that's it painful i see we should cry besides many of the preachers who are now working in the field as we think they are preachers in the field many of them are ignorant of the god of righteousness they are in the field even among these few preachers for the for the harvest is plenteous and the laborers are few even among these few ones the many of the preachers don't know the god of righteousness they are laboring what are they laboring about in the book of jeremiah chapter 2 jeremiah chapter 2 verse 8 the priests said not where is the lord and they that handled the law knew me not the pastors also transgressed against me and the prophets prophesied by Baal and work after things that do not profit they are there in the field they are, they are part of the preachers that are there how can this one preach anything to any who they don't the priest know me not they are not even asking for themselves they have a beam in their eyes they are not even asking for anyone to help them remove it how can they take away this this the mot in another person's eye but they are among the preachers i'm telling you where the world has no heart
why the world has not heard the preachers are ignorant yes they are ministers of their own belly <laughs> they are busy among them a vehicle had accident people run there they are crying help 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 they run there you think human beings are coming for help they are searching the pockets of those people to remove whatever is there these are preachers that are there in the in the world in the gospel field how would you say the people have heard have heard heart look at it in the book of philippians chapter 3 verse 17 to 19 brethren be followers together of me and mark them who should walk so as ye have asked for an example for many walk of whom i have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of christ whose end is destruction whose god is their belly and whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things they are the ministers that were saying they're in the field they are the missionaries that will tell i'm doing missionary work in the in south africa i'm doing missionary work in india these are the ones that are there many of them i am a missionary in gabon <clears throat> these are the people they are there for their own belly whose god the god that took them there is their belly stomach money they went to look for money not in the gospel all they are doing there is money how, who, that's what the bible said how can they hear without a preacher are you having confidence in these preachers that they are there i did not are they not the one laboring among you in your cities and you think preachers are also doing the work there my brother you feel relaxed and say preachers oh everywhere is full of church man of god there man of god there man of god look you see them how will you say the people have heard then how will they believe how would they be saved that's the question yes they are pro, they, 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 the preachers they are traditional and denominational promoters i'm a denomination promoters tradition and denomination promoters they are there busy promoting their denomination and promoting the tradition of their fathers that's what they're doing you see them gather crowd and they're shouting and they're sweating what are they saying denomination promoters is that the gospel is that the gospel of salvation to go and promote your denomination and promote your tradition look at it in the book of mark chapter 7 verse 6 to verse 9 he answered and said unto them well had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites as it is written these people honored me with their lips but their heart is far from me how be it in vain do they worship me preach I'm a teaching for doctrines the commandments of men for laying aside the commandment of God ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups and many other like such like things ye do and he said unto them full well ye reject the commandment of god that ye may keep your own tradition these are the preachers that's what your neighbor preacher is doing busy promoting tradition busy magnifying denomination not jesus not jesus if they bring jesus into it how jesus has made their denomination superior and since it's not the name of denomination that saves it's not the captain of the denomination that saves it's jesus that saves and the jesus is not forwarded there's no salvation the people have no heart they have no heart they go to church and come back they had nothing 
what did the preacher say he told us many stories and we laughed when we came out of the door we forgot what he was, what he was saying he went to entertain us we laughed a lot and forgot everything in fact we laughed away our sorrows how do you laugh away sorrows sorrow is hell the sorrow of hell yes they are hirelings they are hirelings in john chapter 10 verse 11 to 13 the bible says let me read from verse 11 i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep but he that is an hireling and not the shepherd who's on the sheep and not see the wolf coming and leave the sheep and flee it and the wolf catcheth them and scattered the sheep the hireling fleeth because he is an hireling and not and careth not for the sheep and hireling they are there for their wages they are there for their wages it's like you went to a city you may you pick a taxi man there and say take me to this place you have not been to the place before and the taxi man knows the place but the place you are talking about is just three minutes trek but because he is doing this work for money he takes you as far as to 10 kilometers and takes the other way around and goes into a, into a traffic jam somewhere because he knows the city and spends a long time before he brings you to your destination which was three minutes from your place i say it, 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 it there was too much traffic jam my foil went and oh how much am i paying you Thank, he prepared the whole the thing for money because all he was doing is money and he has gotten an ignorant man so these pictures have gotten ignorant people to cheat they cheat them they are hireling looking for money then they care it not they care not for the sheep their mind is not that those people should go to heaven never then how would you say the people have heard they have no heart how shall they hear without a preacher is it these hirelings that can be the one preaching the gospel of salvation to them no 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 he is not a preacher he's an hireling i'm telling you the situation but how simple the gospel is whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved can you see how difficult to find to find the circum the situation that one can call it requires believing it requires hearing it requires a preacher but which preacher is it this type of preacher no they are false prophets they are contrary matthew chapter 7 verse 15 beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are revening wolves revering revening raven destroying consuming that's their work revening destroying the people to hell the preachers are there to take them to hell they are messengers of satan they put on the cloth of jesus they are sneak imitating the voice of wrath are they the preachers of eternal life no so don't be thinking we have many preachers are doing the work why are you thinking like that the lord is saying my his eyes is upon you you're pushing the eyes of god to another person he doesn't know that person they are revenue wolves false prophets yes they teach the doctrines of devils 
the doctrines they are teaching the people are the doctrines of devils can the doctrine of devil bring out a saint look at it in the book of first timothy chapter 4 verse 1 now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the later times some shall depart from the faith given heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils that's the, those are the preachers they start their churches they are the general overseers their signs and wonders performance performance from evil spirits from evil spirits and make the people sign covenant with satan initiate people into demon into darkness kill some of them and drink their blood to increase more dark powers how can they hear without a preacher which preacher that's what god wants us to understand which preacher is it these preachers no they are they are blind leaders of the blind blind leaders of the blind in the book of matthew chapter 15 verse 13 and 14 Matthew 15, 13 and 14. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Can you now see why the people are not saved? These preachers have even worsened the situation, carrying them to the ditch, to the pit of hell. But see again how simple is salvation for whosoever. See how simple. Is that too difficult for your mother? Is that too difficult for your father, for your brothers, for your relations to call upon the name of the Lord? The process. How is the things are getting complex? Very simple thing like this. The road is dark. The road is dark. Then, number the next question. Number four. Question. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. And how shall they preach except? they be sent you can now see the, the difference i'm telling you you have you form a place in the universe you are vital to human society your birth to this world is welcome because you are the preacher of truth because you are sent so number four divinely commissioned preachers divinely commissioned preachers you are sent these are the sent preachers who sent them the lord sent them the lord sent them oh the other ones were they sent no they were not sent if they were sent they will have the message They didn't have any benefit because they were not sent. They did all training for ability to manage human beings religiously, but they were not sent. They were not sent. So they could profit the people in no way. God didn't send them. These people ran and I sent, I did not send them they shall not profit the people in anything and they will profit the people in nothing they were not sent for he that sent has the authority of him that sent him he that is sent has the backing of him that sent him 
They were not sent. Who are these preachers? This, who are these saint people? Number one, they are the disciples of Jesus. <laughs> My brother, you are not a disciple of Jesus. Where do you run? To do ministry. Doing it for who? Doing what? These were disciples of Jesus. Luke chapter 9, verse 1. Luke chapter 9 verse 1 and verse 2 then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick can you see the difference now they were disciples his followers they have learned of him that's why they're disciples they have learned his life that's why they're disciples they have learned his ways that's why they were disciples they have learned about his sacri about his sacrifice that is why they were his disciples they have learned his wisdom they are disciples they live like him that's why they were disciples then he called them and equipped them how are you going without the equipment of God he gave them power this work requires power to preach this gospel that will save man it requires power not just the power of signs and wonders no it goes beyond that power to cause the work to be done it requires the power that will cause this work to be done in the ministry of the saint of the one saint they were disciples he gave them power over all unclean spirits what about these other ones that are going about saying they are casting out devils they are casting out devil by Beelzebub to confuse sinners and lead them to doom Satan is manipulation of Satan because they are all agents of Satan confusing the people but the saint have the original power over Satan original power over sin original power over darkness to preach the gospel of the kingdom they are sent Yes, sent power to heal and deliver is with them they are sent again they have the message I told you he that is sent has the message if a person calls you and sends you I say I want to send you he must give you the message Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 18 to 20 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the earth the, of the world and let us all say Amen can you see he sent them because the message has been given to them they know the message they know the message so they are sent how can they preach except they be sent except God puts the message in them how can they preach the message that will save anybody that will make anybody recognize Jesus that will make anybody call upon Jesus to be saved how can they except God puts his word in you the king of the king of Israel of, of, of Judah came to the king of Israel and so when he invited him to help him he said is there no man of God here that we can inquire of 
he said this there is elisha that poured water in the hands of elijah he said the word of god is with him let's go there the word is with him he is a saint man he is saying that he has the word he has the message you have the message because you have been sent i have the message because i want i have been sent he told you whatsoever i've commanded you that was the message they, they remember they were disciples and received his commandment that commandment is the message go and preach it out teach it out whatsoever i have commanded you and to paul he said i have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make you a minister both of the things which you have seen and of those things which i shall appear unto thee more word will be coming to you because since i have chosen you as a messenger i must supply the message i must supply the message and it is these people that can save the people can you now see the true preachers we have can you design them are you one of them then you have a place among men that are in the world you have a place you are the right man that will turn thousands to jesus you are required you should not die on time because the labor the the work the, the, the bible says the harvest is plenteous the laborers are few that's why god is busy pre, pre preserving your life because there's much for you to do much for you to do that's why satan is particular about you to see how he cut you off because if he cuts you off he has cut off a thousand thousand Send. they have the message the lord is working with them the saint people have god my father who sent me is with me i am not alone he has not left me alone he that sent me is with me you who are sent by god he is with you in mark chapter 16 verse 15 to verse 20 it goes and he said unto them go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned and this sign shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover can we read verse 19 and 20 together one two go so then after the lord has spoken unto them he was received up into heaven and sat on the right hand of god and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord walking with them and confirming the world with signs following and let us say amen wonderful you are a saint minister are you sent can you check yourself you are sent <laughs> the lord is with you the lord is with you i say the lord is with you you will achieve the work for jesus you will make it for jesus you will win the world for jesus he is working with you he will confirm your ministry he is the one doing the work he is the one doing the work he is the one doing the work among us he is doing the work among us we are saint ministers the lord is with us for he that sent us is with us he said without me you can do nothing 
Why those people with all their congregations and all their might are achieving nothing in salvation of humanity? It's because God is not with them. He said, without me, you can do nothing. But he's with the saint people. You will do a lot. With your weakness, even the weakest among you shall achieve greatly. Because God is working with us. So, brother, you're going to succeed. My sister, you're going to succeed. This calling that God has given to you, you're just growing in it. I'm telling you, you will achieve great things in this life. Hey, glory. As you are, when you are, when you grow, you're a young man, and when you come up to age, that you'll be having white hair. I'm telling you, much things would have been done in the kingdom of God. <laughs> much things would have been done in this world. I say, much things would have been done in this world. Because the Lord is with you. Hey. Saints. Yes, they have the Holy Ghost. This, who, how can they preach except they be sent? The saint people have the Holy Ghost. In Acts of Apostles chapter 1, verse 18. Verse 8 rather. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The Bible says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Holy Spirit power is upon your life. And more, more anointing is coming upon you. More power is coming upon you. I say more power is coming upon you. Because you are sent. And this thing is not by, not by might, not by human power, but by my spirit said the lord and surely i am full of power and might of the holy spirit to declare the gospel you are sent only these ones can preach this gospel and bring forth fruit unto eternal life that is why oh you say which bible school did you go to you went to the bible school of the saint <laughs> amen the name of your theological school is those that are sent those ones have all power <laughs> they have all knowledge required for the work praise the lord yes they are the delight of god and they are the delight of men who are in search for the truth you you who are a saint minister you are the joy of the lord how beautiful look at it in the book of romans romans chapter 10 verse 15 it goes and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things how beautiful wonderful people welcome to the world welcome to nations welcome to cities when you enter into cities welcome when you enter into the nations welcome when you step into congregations wake up when you step into families wake up how beautiful are the feet of those who, are, who preach the gospel of peace who have this gospel how welcome angels welcome you me in search of truth are looking for you you are, you are precious to them isaiah chapter 52 Verse 6 to verse 10. Isaiah 52. Verse 6 to verse 10. The scripture said, Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. 
how beautiful upon the mountains at the feet of him that bringeth good tidings that publisheth peace that bringeth good tidings of good that publisheth salvation that saith unto zion thy god remit your god is on throne is on the throne wow beautiful welcome go around and declare to the people jesus is alive go around declare to the people jesus is the lord jesus is the savior jesus is on the throne glory of lords and the king of kings declare to the people thy watchmen shall lift up the voice with the voice together shall they sing for they shall see eye to eye when the lord shall bring again zion through the ministry of saint preachers zion shall come back to life holiness shall return holiness shall return holiness shall return to churches holiness shall return to missions they shall return to families because of the ministry of the saint preachers break forth into singing into joy sing together ye west places of jerusalem for the lord had comforted his people he had redeemed jerusalem all captivities of men shall be let loose because the lord has sent his people they shall be redeemed all those who are under bondage of the devil they shall be loosed because of the the people god has anointed the anointing shall break the yoke and free men men shall see salvation they shall see themselves in heaven they shall welcome themselves in heaven they shall greet eye to eye because the lord has done a good thing can you raise up your hand and wave the Lord has chosen people. The Lord has chosen people. People that he sent them. They are disciples. They are disciples. Amen. Glory to God. The Lord hath made bear his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. <laughs> we are going there i say we are going to all the ends of the earth they shall see the salvation of god because the lord has equipped us he has equipped us to preach the gospel yes the saint people are the fruit bearing preachers they're the fruit bearing preachers in john chapter 15 I read verse 16. John chapter 15, verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. I chose you, I ordained you. Go and bring forth fruit, and your fruit shall remain. I say your fruit shall remain. The labor of our hands we shall see it. They shall abide in the house of God. Even after our death, if the rapture has not come, we shall our fruit shall remain. We shall see them in heaven. Hallelujah. Who how shall they preach? Except they be sent. These are preachers the world truly requires to turn them from the power of sin to salvation in Christ and to preserve the believers in holiness for heaven. Yet, in Romans chapter 10 verse 16, it says, Romans 10 16, the Bible yet tells us that but they have not all obeyed the gospel for isaiah said lord who had believed our report the, despite that the lord sent an anointed people to go for the gospel not all men submit not all men submit to this gospel because not all men are looking for jesus 
not all people are looking for salvation that's why we preach and teach the truth but they reject it well have they rejected our truth we clean our hands and our feet we dust them upon themselves upon them it shall be more tolerable for the cities of Sodom and Go for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah in that day that for them that the Lord prepared people preachers that have the word of salvation the message of salvation and brought to them and they rejected it shall be more to tolerable for those of that died in the homosexuality of Sodom of Sodom and Gomorrah than so such people so those we preach the gospel he that believes and is baptized shall be saved he that keepeth the faith unto the end the same shall go shall be saved but he that rejects we leave it to him he shall be damned yes now finally the training of these preachers can you now see that god is interested to get his own preachers trained the ones he is sending he will equip the one once god is sending he will equip it is a great joy to us that god is rushing in holiness revival movement preachers of truth and holiness it's a joy he is preparing us training us raising us up as preachers of truth and holiness those that have the message those he will work with what a joy what a joy he is raising and training these preachers for the end time gospel exploit these are the preachers that will do exploit for they that know their god shall be strong and shall do exploit these are the preachers of exploits end time preachers of exploits those sent by god preachers of truth and holiness what a joy what a delight what a joy and a delight that you are one of them it's wonderful that you are one among these preachers we bless god for you we bless you in the name of the lord what a joy that the lord has uh, found favor in the sight of god to be a preacher of truth and righteousness in this end time wonderful for he has given me the message and i'm seeing it working as i'm seeing it working the people are saved devils are crying everywhere god is bringing out his people from every nation praise the lord you are there i am there we are there we rejoice god called us god called us god called us and has given to us this ministry it's a glad thing hence brother be available for training as he is training us always calling us together yes malachi chapter 3 malachi chapter 3 the bible tells us from verse 16 to verse 20 to verse 18 then they that feared the lord of spake of one to another and the lord hearkened and had it and a book of remembrance was written for them for him I mean, a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name and they shall be mine said the Lord of hosts 
in that day when i make up my jewels i will spear them as a man speared his own son that served him then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked between him that served god and him that served him not the lord brings us together to strengthen ourselves we are coming to speak to encourage ourselves what what maybe in the course of the walk the walk you did, did you get any bruises anywhere don't bother we have come here to clean it up yo i'm buying up your wounds you'll be healed and go back because we have no replacement for you my brother go and do that work we have come here to comfort one another strengthen one another and get ourselves equipped for this work so always be available for the fellowship of the brethren for the training the lord has for us let's speak to comfort one another for there's a difference between us and them in jesus name be humble before elders this grace is not grace to pride grace unto humility in the book of first peter chapter five first peter chapter five i read verse five and verse six likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder yeah all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for god resisted the proud and give grace to the humble humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god that ye, he ye, that he may exalt you in due time let's be humble people and not proud people that god is achieving great things through us to through us that's not me will become proud and stubborn to elders who are no more being authority we are no more subject to authority to leadership no respect elders among you be holy be humble be gentle let that the lord will use you more the lord will bless you more and use you to do more in this world you need humility pride is of satan humility is for jesus so since you're of jesus humble don't be proud don't be tough don't be high-minded that's what god is saying yes be obedient to leadership be obedient in hebrews chapter 13 verse 17 hebrews 13 verse 17 obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves for the watch for your souls as they that must be must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief for that is unprofitable for you profit unprofitable therefore be obedient to the leader submit to your leader don't be more anointed than your leader that you cannot listen no 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 the, my, no god has told me god has told me no that's not the way that's not the way you should take satan is the proud man that makes you heady be humble be humble be humble even when jesus was on earth he was humble even before men what is the righteousness before that men have before, compared to jesus but he humbled before leadership even secular leadership he was humble there he spoke gently he was on route so you selected leaders teachers preachers of this gospel add to your faith humility add to your anointing humility submission to elders yieldedness obedience to leadership give yourself wholly to the lord and to this movement that your prophet may appear to all in the book of first timothy chapter 4 verse 13 to 16 first timothy chapter 4 verse 13 till i come give attendance to reading to exhortation to doctrine neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all take it unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee that your profiting may appear give yourself wholly to these things don't play smartness carnality 
in this movement that the Lord has brought you to is holiness movement, is end time movement, is a is is a treasure. Don't become unqualified for it. Don't become unqualified for it to spew out spew out the unqualified. Humble yourself and be gentle, be meek and be lowly, be obedient, be a child, be a child in obedience. Let your heart be simple as that of a child in iniquity. In, in, in the Bible says, in malice be a child, because a child doesn't keep those things. He will cry now one minute after he does things no more. But in understanding be made. So, my brother, exercise yourself to righteousness, to holiness, to submission, to obedience, to the fellowship of the brethren, to unity and to compliance to this vision of enter movement the lord bless your life rise up upon your feet and worship him and rejoice that you are here rejoice that he has called you holy preachers are precious to God and to men you are precious if you are a true preacher it is you that can bring the, that has the gospel of salvation that can save the mankind how can they preach except they are sent hey hey Hey, how can they preach? How can they preach the gospel of salvation? They don't have the message. The Lord didn't send them. The Lord didn't give them the message. They shall not profit the people in any way. Hey, the people are waiting to hear. The people are waiting for you, brother. My sister, the people are waiting for you. The people are waiting for you. You are the same. You have the message. They are waiting. Alive. Move. Other preachers are just keeping the people busy without resolve because they are not sent. Jesus name we pray. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials for other spiritual materials messages or inquiry
contact us on 0813-635-6813 and 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. Jesus, I believe.
I believe, I believe. 